Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than what I normally do. Well, I don't really have a normal type of video, but like if you can tell, I'm not wearing any makeup today. I just really didn't want to wear makeup because it's like a blah day and you know when you have a blah day you just don't want to put on makeup so i just decided that for today's video i was going to talk about some curly hair products that are my ride or die products like if my hair is curly one of these products or one or more of these products are in my hair if you are new to my channel hi i'm ashley and uh, you should hit that subscribe button down below so that you can see more of my cool little videos but the point of this video was that if you are new to my channel, my hair is naturally curly. In a lot of my videos, my hair is straightened, but on a regular day where I'm not trying to be extra cute, my hair is curly. So this is my curls actually on its first day. I just washed it today. I did have my hair straight, so when I wash my hair from like straight to curly, on the first day, my curls aren't as curly as they are they're not really that curly because i have heat damage but on the first day going back from straight to curly it's a little bit wavy because my hair is super damaged from being straightened but as the days go by it gets curlier but yeah in this video i'm gonna go ahead and talk about some curly hair products and what i think about them and yeah so if you want to see what products these are then please keep watching all right so first things first i'm going to go ahead and talk about what i have in my hair right now um when i wash my hair i just shampoo it and i put conditioner at the end and then detangle it um today since yesterday my hair was straight i decided to do a deep conditioning mask so i did have a brio geo deep conditioning mask in my hair for about an hour and then i rinsed it out and then from there i go ahead and style my hair in my hair today i have this igk rich kid coconut oil gel i actually just started using this about two weeks ago i think it was and i was recommended this by one of my friends she works at sephora and she was telling me how this brand is super good so it is sold at sephora the only thing that i don't really like about this brand is that it's expensive well, when i'm talking about expensive it's expensive like this little bottle this little, little bottle okay you see the, you see the size it was 15 dollars so i decided to go ahead and try out a little bottle before i went and go ahead and buy like the big bottle because i think if i'm not mistaken the big bottle was about like 30 dollars and I, I wasn't gonna spend 30 dollars on a product that i didn't know if i was gonna like but so far i think this product is good it is like a soft just like a cream gel it's not really jelly like when i put it on my hands um and it does leave my hair really nicely, so I like that. The only thing I don't like, well, besides the price, is the smell. It smells really like... I don't even know what smell it is. It's like alcohol. And I don't like my hair smelling like alcohol. Which is weird because like... It's healthy, like it's paraben and sulfate free. And it's like coconut oil. So I don't really know why it has this strong smell. But this is one of the products that i have in my hair and other than the smell it is really good and it leaves your hair really nicely my hair is not hard at all which that's one of my main priorities when i buy a product i hate when my hair is hard i like my hair to be soft so aside from this product i also have the deva curl light defining gel in my hair this i love the smells it freaking smells like skittles like oh it's so good it smells so good if i could draw my hair in this I would I really really like this product as you can see it's up to here so I'm almost done devil curl is another brand that is a little bit expensive and you know I just come to the conclusion that if I want to have nice curly hair I'm gonna have to spend some bucks on my hair products because going and buying like five dollar hair products it just wasn't working for me so I had to step up my game and devil curl is one of those um, brands that I think works really good with my hair well, actually not all the products, but this one, it does. And I love the smell, so that was like a big positive. But yeah, this I usually try to use if my hair is... Like right now, it's really dry because it, I've already air dried it for like five hours now. So if I wanted to go tomorrow and touch up my hair a little bit, I would add this instead of this gel. Because this one's a little bit more wet, so it would refresh your curls instead of like applying a dry product to your hair i don't know I, I always feel weird about that so i would definitely use this for your first or second day curly 
hairstyle day yeah okay <laughs> all right and then the rest of the products are products that i use as well they're just not on my hair today so the first product that i want to talk about from that is the brio geo curly hair charisma curl charisma it's rice amino and avocado leave-in defining cream this thing it's like done already i need to go buy a new one but i received this from influencer i believe like whew, maybe like last year and I've never heard of Brio Geo before, or actually I have because I think Kathleen Knight talks about it, but she doesn't really have curly hair like I do, so I never really like decided to wonder that much about the brand. But they sent me the Curl Charisma um, collection, and I decided to go ahead and give it a try, and this was like... There was nothing else in my hair other than this for a good like three months there because I was like, oh my god, my hair was like dry pretty curls i hate wet looking curls like kind of like how it is right now because these gels kind of make it look wet i love dry and healthy looking curls i don't know why it's just my type of curly hair that i would want in my dreams you know but this definitely gave me that look so i love this this is another brand that is a little expensive i think this is like probably 20 something dollars but it is sold at sephora i'm not sure if it's sold at ulta but definitely in sephora you can find this all right the next product i'm going to talk about is the shea moisture coconut and hibiscus curl and style milk I was a little like iffy about mentioning this brand because I don't if you have curly hair maybe you would have known about this commercial that they did that kind of pissed people off that had curly hair because you know drama but anyways this product is good so I don't know what to do <laughs> but I think this product is really good this is actually the only product that I use from Shea Moisture because all the other products that I've tried are too like thick and it weighs down my hair and I don't like when my curls are weighed down I kind of just like I like to be natural and pretty but it's hard okay it's really hard but this actually really helps it's a style milk so it's not a gel consistency and it's not like a smoothie it's more like a cream and I like creams for my hair if I could just be in creams all day I would I would just put creams all day but then sometimes it doesn't work it's like curly hair has a mind of its own it's very rough out here in these streets the Shea Moisture brand is I would say like the cheaper side of high-end hair products does that make sense like I, like, I don't think this is $20. This was probably like $12, which, I mean, for pretty hair, it's not that expensive, you know? So I would recommend this if you're, if you're trying to go on the cheaper side of good curly hair products, as well as the next two products that I'm going to talk about. One of them is the Quenching Coconut Curls Curl Styling Milk. If I was to pick one of these two, I would definitely pick this one if you're looking for like those soft curls because this is more of like a conditioning cream. It's It literally feels like conditioner. So it leaves your hair very smooth, very soft, and it smells like coconuts. And guess what? I love coconuts. So this is one of my favorites only because I love the smell. It leaves my hair soft. And if you haven't noticed by me talking in this video, that's all I want in my life. And this is definitely the cheapest of all the products that i've mentioned i'm pretty sure this is like 5.99 i bought this at ulta but i'm pretty sure you could buy this at walmart maybe target for, for real for sure target i don't know about walmart but i know i bought this in um ulta and i'm pretty sure it was 5.99 Along with this, I also make sure to put the coconut water. It's from the same brand and it's just like a little spray. So I put this in first and I just spray it all over my hair. And then I go ahead and apply this to kind of like seal my hair. And then these two combined, perfect. I love them together. And then again, this is really cheap. I'm not very sure how much all these products cost. But I'm pretty sure it had to be like $5 because I don't see myself paying more than $5 for a little bit of coconut water. You know what I mean? Okay. And then I'm down to the last product that I'm going to talk about. The last product is this Miss, Je Miss Jessie's Soft Jelly Soft Curls. <laughs> can't read today but this is also like a gel consistency it's very similar to the deva curl they're kind of very similar in consistency except this one is a little bit stickier and 
I am not a fan of sticky, but once this is applied and once my hair is dry, then I like how it is on my hair. Once, like in the beginning when my hair is wet and it's in the process of drying, this kind of annoys me. And that's why in the beginning when I first bought this, I was like, ugh, why did I buy this? I don't like this product. But then there was one point where I had none of these products in front of me because they had run out. And like I only had this and I was like, okay, listen. You're gonna make this work because I need something in my hair. So I went ahead and tried this and by the end of the day my curls were really pretty natural looking and they weren't hard at all. So I mean I couldn't complain about this product. I know that this brand has another hair product that I like but I just haven't used it in so long. It's not a gel. I think it's like a leave-in cream. I'm not very sure but if I find it I will link it in the bottom bar description thing. But um this brand is sold at Target, I believe, and maybe Ulta. I don't know if I've seen an Ulta, but I know I bought this in Target. And I think it was like $18, maybe $20, maybe $22. So in that range from $18 to $22, I'm pretty sure that's what I paid for this. This is my least favorite product from what I just mentioned, but it is one of my favorite products if I had to do my hair and I didn't have the other products I mentioned, you know? But yeah, I hope that this video helped any of my curly hair subscribers or if you're new, then I hope it helped you. <laughs> These are just a few of my favorite curly hair products that work for me. Um, I know that curly hair textures are very different, so like, I don't know if you can tell my texture from this video, but for me, these products work. Maybe for other people, it don't, it doesn't work. And if you are a curly hair subscriber, then please let me know what products you use because I always love to hear about new curly hair products because I'm always in the lookout for making my curls more prettier. So yeah, if you want to give me some curly hair product suggestions, then please comment down below because I always appreciate them. But yeah, that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.